Hi everyone, this is Valerio from the uh, Free Product Management team. I'm here with James um, from our engineering team. And we're gonna talk about the improvements we made to the um, configuration of the Skater tool uh, as part of Code Enterprise 4.4. Um, so the, for anyone who is not using the configuration of the Skater yet, this is a tool that allows node operators to protect their configuration files by encrypting any uh, sensitive data that's recorded in there in case you want to record, uh, you want to keep that data in the configuration file. That means um, your node is protecting against um, trolling attacks, for example, if someone's um, able to access a box and get the configuration file. If you're using the obfuscator, uh, they shouldn't be able to uh, read the credentials in any way. But um, as part of Code Enterprise 4.4, we have made a few additional improvements, um, including making the um, encryption more robust and making the tool uh, more friendly to um, orchestration systems. And James is going to talk about this um, to us now. Over to you, James. Great. Thanks, Leo. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do a brief demo. Um, sort of shows the new options that we can provide to the config obfuscator tool and then to um, uh, the node itself in order to de-obfuscate configuration. Um, so as Valeria mentioned, the main reason for introducing this is that it's now sort of usable through um, orchestration tools. And uh, this, this really is sort of the main user-facing change to the obfuscator in this release. Um, as I also mentioned, there's a few sort of small um, security enhancements in there, but those uh, shouldn't really make any difference to how the tool is used. Uh, worth saying at this point that the tool uh, remains backwards compatible, so it should still be possible to de-obfuscate configuration that was obfuscated under a previous version of the tool, and the tool uh, will, retains the same options that it had in previous releases, so in the event that a customer is scripting usage of the tool, um, they shouldn't need to change the scripts to still use the tool. Having said that, uh, because of the security enhancements we've made, uh, it's now sort of recommended that we use the new options that I'm about to demo as that takes advantage of the new security features that we've added in this release. Uh, so uh, so these, these docs here is for the old config obfuscator. Um, we have some docs that are in flight for adding the new options, but these are not present on the screen yet. So I'll just uh, switch over to terminal and just demo the new usage. So, Okay. So, um, so uh, the tool largely works the same way that it did in previous releases. So, um, those are unaware and sort of demonstrate a configuration file that you'd like to obfuscate it. Obfuscate. Um, so, <clears throat> this looks very much like uh, any sort of other node.com file. This one's very simple. Um, the key line to point out is this password. So what we're asking for here is for this password field to be encrypted by the obfuscator tool. And this is exactly the same as it was the previous releases. There's this encrypt tag, and there's the value you'd like to encrypt here inside this block. Um, okay, so that's that. Uh, in terms of running the tool, um, here we go. So. The command line looks very similar. The main thing to point out is these two new options here. So config obfuscation seed and config obfuscation passphrase. So these are um, basically two parameters that are passed to the encryption that we use within the obfuscator tool. Um, and the, these are just allow, this is really the key for allowing us to use it through um, orchestration methods. So under previous versions, the seed was a hard coded default value that you couldn't realistically change. And the passphrase was uh, you chosen would have been the MAC address of the machine that you're running on. And that is the thing that causes the problems under these orchestration tools, because whenever you spin up new Kubernetes pods, for example, you get a new MAC address, and now suddenly you can't um, deobfuscate your configuration anymore. Um, so this allows the user to input these values. Um, here we're doing it through the command line. You can also do it through environment variables, and there is also an option to do this um, interactively. And uh, so the way that would work is that you just don't, you pass the same options, but you don't actually provide a value here, and then the tool will prompt you for those. 
Um, so here we'll go ahead and just demonstrate running the obfuscator against our um, backup node.conf and we'll um, generate an encrypted node.conf. Okay, so if we have a quick look at that. Um, so we can see that the password is encrypted. Um, so these sort of extra tags in the front of the deobfuscation side understands what things have been obfuscated. Um, so this uh, doesn't really look any different to how it would have looked under previous versions of the tool. Um, okay. So then the final thing is how do you get these seed and passphrase values into your core node? Well, um, so that would just be that exactly the same way as we do with the tool itself. So here you can see we pass um, exactly the same parameters, config obfuscation seed, config obfuscation passphrase to the um, node jar itself here. So um, again, you can provide these options in the same, using the same mechanisms as uh, to the tool itself. So you can provide them um, on the CLI like this. You can provide them through environment variables. Um, and you can provide them through interactively by just emitting the actual values here. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is what those environment variables are called. They have exactly the same name as config obfuscation seed and config obfuscation passphrase, just block capitals and underscores. And then if we run this, um, it shouldn't be particularly interesting. It should just start the node. Um, I have to give it a little bit just to sort of spin it up. And so um yeah and so there we are so our node starts if we attempt to do the same thing but we provide incorrect credentials then um the encryption algorithm will warn us that something's gone wrong and we will no longer be able to start the node um so in this release the new obfuscation these new obfuscation options are integrated into the node process and also into firewall components of the original float. Um, that's about it, really. Um, this is, yeah, from a user perspective, that's really all, all there is to it. So I'll hand back over to Valerio. Thank you very much for um, following this demo video. And um, we um, Hope you'll be using this in Code Enterprise 4.4.